Locked in. Broken up. That's broken up by Tag Landry. Good coverage downfield. The and they will wrap in. him up at the 25. The only thing that matters, and we talked about this for three years, just the five Curry seconds in front of you. Up, and that one comes back. That might have been caught. I think it Wow. What a catch. Many of them standing up, giving a standing ovation. The Alberta Golden Bears come away victorious in the sense of this program is really going places. There's enough talent to win now. Not next year, not the year after now. It's day one of training camp for the Golden Bears football team. Tyler Henry and Tom Sumpes are two teammates who share a locker room, a passion for football, and a kitchen. I think we're just really excited to get back after it. We got a super long off season. Eight months seems to go by um, really long at first, but it starts to speed up at the end, and we're just excited to, to kind of get back after it. I mean, you go through the summer process of rebuilding yourself, and you start to you, you work together as a team the whole time, building your camaraderie and um, recreating your identity for the next year. And so I'm just really excited to see how that's all going to come together for us here coming up this week. You already made four plates of dishes last night. <laughs> so intensity will be through the roof. You know, guys are going to be hitting, competing. Uh, we got a lot of guys coming to camp. You know, Morris is still in the process of cutting guys. Still trying to get this team exactly where he wants it to be, um, you know, this year and five years from now. So uh, it's, it's going to be really competitive as well. Uh, like I said, high intensity, high competition, you know, uh, we're going after the wins this year. So just really high standard. Second and 16, good pass underneath. That is caught. Here comes Jimmy Ralph again. Ralph to the 20. Jimmy Ralph still going, taken down just inside the 10. So you know, we kind of prepared ourselves mentally to say, you know, this is what we can be. Not because other people tell us we can be, but because we've decided that. Finds a hole up the middle, cuts back, still going. Eventually tracked down from behind by Supas. I think we are at that point now where we're just prepared to, to make that transition and show everybody just how prepared we are. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. You know, I think uh, Tom and I both can, can, you know, can agree that, uh, you know, we're just ready to show the world, man. We're ready. Today's schedule is straightforward. No football yet, as there are papers to sign and medical testing to be done before anyone steps on the field. The first year players arrive before the others, ready to join a program that missed out on the playoffs by a single point and in the final game of the season last year. This all coming after three straight winless seasons. Each player will undergo concussion tests and other preemptive medical exams to ensure that everyone's health is in order. By now, the rest of the team has arrived and the players are catching up from time away over the summer. The mood in the room is one of excitement, fewer nerves than moments ago when the first year players arrived. Braces are fitted for those who require them and the rest of the equipment is sorted out. Not an easy task when you need just over 100 helmets and pads. Day two, otherwise known as the Bear Run. The first real test of training camp, 600 yards in three minutes and 20 seconds or less. The Bear Run is our way of seeing who train, okay? Now, if you fail the bear run, okay, we have conditioning every morning for the next two weeks to make sure you are in the kind of shape you need to be to play football in this program, okay? If you fail the bear run badly, then it lets me know that maybe you haven't taken this seriously enough and maybe you don't belong here. Okay, that's the message it sort of sends to me. Okay, so understand something, this is an important thing to do. It takes a while to develop physically. Not everybody can bench press 400 pounds in their first couple of years. Not everybody can run a 4 4 40 in their first couple of years. Everyone can make this test if they put their heart into it, okay? But it requires more than just today putting your heart into it. It takes some time and it takes a lot of work, okay? All right, grab your waters and let's get down there. He wants to win. 
way and he's going for it. <laughs> he's working hard. Let's go, Lucky! You gonna let him catch you, man? Let's go! There we go. There you go, guys. Good job. Probably that guy's the last one, like. Oh, oh he's the first here. Okay, fellas, welcome to Golden Bears Football 2015. A lot of the guys have been here. You know what it's like here. For you guys who haven't been here, it's pretty simple here, okay? This is a family and it's about respect. And everybody in our organization commands your respect. I don't want to hear about anybody speaking to anyone who's a trainer, who's equipment staff, who has anything to do with Golden Bears football that you don't address the same way you'd address me. And the first thing I ask, you can, I can promise you this, you can ask the trainers, the first thing I asked them yesterday wasn't who's hurt, are there any idiots in this group is the first thing I asked. I don't want them, we won't have them, okay? We have good people here. We win with good people, we build this program with good people, okay? So make sure that you understand that it's very, very important to me as your head coach that you act that way at all times, okay? Especially with members of our family here. I'm gonna say this to you. Everyone in the country and everybody in this room knows that this is a team that's on the rise right now. We're a very talented group of young men. There are, there's as much talent in this room as there is in any room across the country. The only thing is that we're young. And I don't want anybody talking about what's going to happen in the future. There's enough talent to win now. Not next year, not the year after now. And what I'm telling you right now, in order for us to play that way, in order for us to be that, you need to approach this thing in a very simple way. There's two things you got to do. Number one, the only thing that matters, and we've talked about this for three years, just the five seconds in front of you. Right now, listen to what we're talking about. Listen to what our identity is. Become part of the family with a common vision. That's your thing right now. That's all you can do to make us better right now. Don't think about what's happening tomorrow. Think about now. That's number one. Number two, fellas, and it's just as important. Young teams have hard times winning because everybody's looking to get theirs. What can I get? How many yards can I get? Am I going to get drafted? Is this going to happen for me? <laughs> you can't win in football that way. There's one way, fellas. I've won with, I, we've won championships with young teams. We've won with old teams. There's one mindset. The only thing that I'm doing on a team is trying to make my teammate better. When I do my job, it's so a lot, when I as a defensive lineman do my job, it's so Connor Ralph can make a tackle. When Connor Ralph makes a tackle, it's because Greg Severin made it so he was free. He made Greg Severin look good. Embrace making someone else great. Embrace the fact that there's very few people who get to be here and make it special for someone else. If you can do that, if you can remove yourself from this equation and give to everyone here, I don't know how far we'll go, fellas. I can't tell you we're going to win the Hardy Cup. I can't tell you we're going to win the playoff. I, I can't tell you that, but I'll tell you that we'll give ourselves a chance. Worry about what's in front of you and care about the people in this room. Care enough to sacrifice yourself for them. We're going to be just fine. Efficiency is key to the Bears football camp. The two weeks have been scheduled accordingly to how Chris Morris and the coaching staff feel gets the most out of the program, minute by minute. Good. Guys, watch the film. It will work. We'll catch a pick. You just be patient, patient. If the ball gets thrown here, we go get it. Squeeze with the elbows, gator roll. 
Roll is very important. On the whistle. Catch him, catch him, catch him! That's a good one, Alex. Way to close space, Alex. There are two practices a day, with the first one having more teaching and concept learning emphasis. This allows the players to fully understand the skills they'll need to execute the plays during the second practice, where the tempo and intensity hit a much different level. Everyone's excited to be back out here. The camaraderie is getting built up again right from square one. Everyone's excited to be here, man. So, yeah, it was really good. I think we're going to see a couple guys get a little more jittery tonight. Um, but, but as for this morning, um, yeah, it was good, man. The Bears are fed and have time for a quick rest before getting ready to get back on the field. Tonight's practice has a familiar face on the field, David Beard, an offensive lineman for last year's Golden Bears, who was drafted by the Edmonton Eskimos in this year's CFL draft, lending his advice. A player who can attest to the intensity of the day's second practice. So I can't reach the gate. And even let's go, ready, go! Piss, let's go! Drive, 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 not bad, Hut, hut! No, 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 no! Shuffle. Your angle was terrible, okay? That was terrible. You didn't shuffle, you just got stuck out in space and then he just decided to run. Coming up on Bear Path. I think the expectation pretty much for all of us coming in is you want to play and uh, get to where you want to be. Now that's something that I think really motivated us to live together. 14 years of professional football, so I saw lots of young men come in and lots of guys come through football, and I saw football chew a lot of people up and spit them out. Yeah. 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 